What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Reggie Cash One. Welcome to Unscripted, where we talk about the overall fashion industry, trends, styles, and questions from you and give my, our take on it. Really not good with that intro yet, but we'll get there. And today we're talking about style and specifically this debate about whether you should have in your closet multiple styles for any given occasion or one or two focused styles so that you have unrivaled consistency. Now, normally, I would be like, that's up to you, baby. That That's totally up to you. But seeing as this is an op-ed, right? I gotta give you my take, my personal preference, as it were. I don't usually do that. No dudes out there, ladies alike, like, yo, Reggie, can you just please tell us what you think, bruh? Like, like, just tell us. G, like, Jesus, man, tell us. So I got you, I promise. We're gonna start this whole new trajectory where I tell you what I think about things. But pretty much everyone at this point should know at least if they've been at the casual for a while, I am team consistency. Maybe it's living here in Tokyo, which has given me the perspective that one or two focus styles allows you to have a much more fluid wardrobe and being able to know how everything fits with something else in your closet is just a plus. But I'm weird like that. I swear I have like, 10 pairs of pants in virtually the same color with different silhouettes and different fabrics just so I can maintain the same style across any situation. That's me. However, I get the appeal of multi-styles, especially if you're from the United States. And this is not a hit. I'm not bagging on America. Again, I'm from America. I appreciate it. This is just about the US culturally, right? In the US, having options is the mark of financial success. And the only way to showcase it, that is financial success, is by showcasing the options available to you. And if there is one thing that US American citizens love to do is to showcase their social status. Don't deny it. You're rivaled only by maybe China. This is why, in my opinion, and based on empirical evidence, fashion multi-style advocates frequently focus on having range rather than consistency. By showcasing range with multiple styles, they're able to effectively showcase their social worth. None more evidenced by the TikTokification of the fashion trend cycle, which is moving at breakneck speeds, where people are feverishly trying and talking about different styles to keep up with certain trends that are in, so to speak. For instance, someone asked me about this in contrast to Japan and saying, I heard this person said, I heard in Japan, people focus on one or two styles and have focused wardrobes. Wouldn't that get a little boring? I'm paraphrasing this question, of course, I don't remember it, but the general idea was that by focusing on one look, you as a person would get tired of it. And I immediately thought to myself, I was like, hmm, well, well people do that all the time anyway they do that all the damn time it's natural that as you get older not even as you get older if you're in a sport you effectively fall into more consistency and routine rather than the randomness of just being being a person or maybe being a younger person you just don't fall into a random sector as you get more mature Think about it like this, even the most celebrated designers in the world stick to a pattern of predictability in their own styles of dress and even design. In fact, it's the latter that makes them prominent and famous designers. If a designer is haphazard and has no core design methodology, then they likely wouldn't be as big as they are or could be. You wouldn't even like them. You wouldn't know what to expect. You'd be like, I, I, I don't know what Kim Jones is gonna do because it's so random and I'm getting tired of it. That's how you would be. But because it's consistent, you know what to expect and you're, most of the time you're happy about it because maybe they surprise you with their skill or maybe they surprise you because they came up with something new but based on what they do. That being said, consistency and practice among the plebs, <laughs> I shouldn't even say that, among certain groups of people seems to be the lesser form of fashion in style. Now why? Well, I can't speculate as to the psychological reason why, but from my observation, it seems that consistency means, and I said this word before, predictable. And if you're predictable, you'll come to be less interesting to parties that either know you or that are observing you. However, that's not always the case. But before I continue, I wanna go ahead and introduce our brand of the week, Carl Friedrich. As many of you know, I love bags. I like messenger bags, carriers, backpacks, all of it. And Carl Friedrich, 
help me step up my bag game. Just a notch, just a notch. I was in the market of upgrading my rucksack or backpack, whatever you guys say, wherever part of the world where you say something. And I wanted something that was equal parts, high quality, functional and statement making, but in a minimal way. I like making minimal statements, you know? I don't wanna flex unless you're really looking hard at what I'm doing, which again, we're talking about styles on this very episode. It fit my personal aesthetic. It filled all my expectations. I can pair this backpack with an upscale designer look, but its versatility can go with something even more casual. And it also doesn't lack on function. We got mesh straps for breathability, which are golden, and the leather is plush, and the minimal branding is a plus for me. It's ridiculous, got all these little nice compartments and packages where I can put little things in, and it still looks good. Carl Friedrich did send your boy this back, full disclosure though, but it took a lot of negotiation to get exactly what I wanted, so I didn't hold back. If I'm gonna promote a brand in any degree, I have to like it. However, they have some amazing luggage as well, so you can check that out too. Also, if you want that discount, cause you know I can't leave you hanging, you can check the link coming up or the one in the description. Just saying, it's great stuff. Check them out. I promise you won't be disappointed. Carl Friedrich, thank you so much. Now. I talked earlier about this idea of dressing for the occasion and how having multiple styles usually clears that up, right? So that, that's a plus for multiple styles. However, personally, I try to figure out ways to take my own style and augment it for the occasion. Or if a trend is hot that I like, instead of adopting the trend wholesale, I instead focus on ways I can apply that trend to what I already do. And this is not just me, this is par for the course for many individuals that have settled into a style. The other thing uh, I found with having multiple styles in your closet is that you never quite have enough for the best of the best pieces unless you got that cake, unless you got that bread. Monenero, cane, <laughs> right? Right, if you don't have money, it's hard to get those best of the best pieces if you have multiple styles, unless you're like a practicing archivist or simply addicted to collecting pieces at random and seeing where the chips may fall. Some people do that, they like that. I just don't know how you do it because I believe doing that leads to a haphazard wardrobe. Clothes are meant to be worn. So if you're getting all these crazy just pieces and you're just like, oh my God, I have all these pieces, but you don't know what to do with them, then the point, then there's no point. But I get it. I think for some people going multiple styles is fun and rewarding, but in my opinion, it just doesn't give you enough time to evolve your style into something more. Just imagine if you, are getting into something like a sport. You're getting your bearings, you're actually getting better. And then all of a sudden you're like, I don't like this shit no more, bro. I don't like, I don't know. He's like, you're getting better though. It's like, nope, nope, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm not doing it. It just baffles me. That is to say a focus style isn't boring if you keep developing it, if you keep going into it. But I'm sure on the other side that having multiple styles can give you close to a damn nervous breakdown trying to figure out what the hell you're gonna wear today. How you? How am I gonna flex today, dog? You sitting there 30 minutes to an hour trying to pick out an outfit. I Maybe that's not everybody. Maybe they just know in their head, ooh, I know what I'm gonna do today, baby. But me, I just like, mm, mm, mm. yes, I know, I know. That doesn't make me like the freshest dude on the planet. It just means that I'm confident in what I have in my closet because I know what to expect. Like, if you think about it in the most casual way I could say it, if all your clothes and fits are dope, you know it. And more importantly, they are completely you, then anything you put out to wear is going to be a winner. But the most important thing is to be comfortable, right? So for me personally, I take from the camp of consistency. That could be because of my design, art, and music background, or it could be a little bit of me being in Japan far too long where that methodology is promoted. Or it could be a combination of all those things, but that's me. And I wanna hear from you. What's your take, multiple styles or a focus style? And why? Let it be known in the comments. <laughs> and if you want an overtime episode on this very topic, that's right, overtime is back. Join us on Patreon and continue the conversation on our private Discord along with that extended episode. And if you're into building a brand, you wanna build a business, build a fashion brand, you can join at our higher tiers on Patreon to get access to our monthly fashion brand building webinar class. You won't be disappointed. You cover marketing, production, pretty much everything that you could think of every month. And I also take questions from people who are at the highest tier. So don't sleep if you're trying to build a brand, join us on Patreon, we'll try to help you out in that regard. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international fashion culture and business from Tokyo. It's your boy and keep it casual. 
and I'll see you guys in a minute.